Hello and welcome to another episode of Quasi's Corner with me, Quasi, and and don't listen to the this specialist. Guy. Nowhere near the specialist. This guy, the specialist, this is the Daniel Deej John, who's with us today. Um, we're doing this because this is a first of many. Uh, collaborations that we're going to have with a very special lot of drummers who'll be coming and guesting and trying out bits and pieces and showing us what they have. Um, I'm, I for one, I'm really excited. Dan's a really good friend of mine, and he's an amazing drummer. And so it's good for us. Oh, see this guy. It's good for us to have him here um, as the first of many, and hopefully we'll have him back a few other times. Oh, definitely. And uh, and really like share what we have with Dan. So you're going to see this up next. And um, here we go. All right, so once again, a uh, big welcome to Daniel Deej. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having really me, Really good to see you here. It's good to see you, man. And uh, we really want to know um, what you're all about. So I'm just going to do a quick intro on you from my perspective, if you don't mind. <laughs> that is what everyone's about to say. It's not true. <laughs> it is not true. So Daniel here is uh, an amazing drummer hailing from Wickham, West Wickham, West if you want to find him. And uh, he's really done a lot of great things for the music scene, um, in my opinion. He's bringing a lot of freshness to it, and uh, amazing chops, turbo fast chops, and accurate. And um, the groove's on point, and he shares a lot of videos on both Instagram and Facebook, so you can catch him on there. And, um, and he really shows people what he can do in a very humble way. Um, at the moment, he's doing a lot of gigs and sessions and uh, playing for quite a few artists, which you'll, I'm sure you'll speak about in just a moment. And uh, he's really one of those drummers who's on the rise. And to be honest, it's not spoken about enough. So this is one of those times <laughs> where we can get him on here and time. ask him questions. So, Daniel, how long have you been playing for? So I started playing at the age of three. I'm 25 now. Sheesh. So yeah, I've been playing for a while, trying to play. I'm still learning to play. There's just so much I need to get down. As we all. And what what do you do? What do you do when you're not on stage? So when I'm not on stage, I work for Haringey Music Service. So I teach around North London. The schools I've got uh, Northumberland Park, Gladesmore Community School, and I've got Fortismere. So I teach in those schools. Um, I teach bass and drums. So I'm enjoying like giving what I can to kids and even learning from my students and even other instrumentalists at the schools. I'm just learning, it's wicked. I'm enjoying my time there, so. And so, uh, Daniel, who have you actually played for? In so, your... I'm currently doing um, Soul to Soul, which is fun. So I'm um, covering for, depping for um, Julian Brown. So thank you, Uncle Jules and Uncle Chris for letting me sit on the seat on that gig. I'm really enjoying that. And then um, I went on the road with Kirk Fletcher who's an amazing blues guitarist, like amazing, from a, from LA, I believe, and he's just, like, it was just such an experience playing blues music. And then uh, Phil Strawn as well, is another great artist that I work with, like, very frequent. He's really great, so if you guys could check all of those guys out and let me know what you think. What was the catalyst that got you actually playing? Well, I'd say, well, first of all, parents, man. They are the most important thing to me anyway when it comes to music because my dad kind of nurtured kind of and saw that I was just always tapping hitting things that's always the key hitting things <laughs> is always the key so like I just got captured on that front and then literally because my dad was into music and he's a sound engineer and he used to play bass back in the day so that kind of pushed things along quickly and then I kind of got thrown into like, when I was three years old, he put me in front of Dennis Chambers, like, and that just changed my whole world, like, my whole way of thinking, everything just, it just opened up from that day on. And like, even now, he's just my hero, like, honestly.
So uh, we're aware that you endorse a few companies yourself Yeah. Um, in your professional walk. So if you could let us know what companies so you're with. And best sticks in the world, Promark, Ricky Latham's, love them to death. Um, Evans, so Didario, Evans, Mine of Symbols is just beautiful. It's the best thing since last bread. And uh, Pearl, I love Pearl. Just, I've always been a Pearl fan. That's the only drums I've ever owned. And I just love them. So thank you guys. And also, Sire Sneers. So if you could check them out, they're really great. They make really great sneers. Like honestly, they're magnificent. Like the craftsmanship that goes into the sneers and the body, oh, the sound is just like next to none. So just a huge thank you. And also a head armor case is, is what my drums sleep in. So without those, they wouldn't remain as beautiful as they are. So thank you. What is, what is it that uh, would you say that causes you to kind of fall in love with these brands one by one? Let's give us some insight. More importantly, it. I think it's just my sound, I think. It's just, it just, I don't know, with Pearl, it just, it's just always been, their drums has just always had me, like, from when I was younger. I first got my Pearl kit at the age of seven, eight, I believe. <laughs> my dad might quote me wrong, but yeah, that's when I first got my Pearl kit and I just never gone back since. I've never looked back. Mm -hmm. With the mm -hmm. symbols now, mine all just got it down completely to a T. Just have my sound. It's all about sound for me. What symbols were you using today? So today I was using a 20 fin hammered crash on my left hand side, which is really great. I love the sound of it. And then I've got um this is another phenomenal drummer, guys, Benny Greb. So I've got his hi-hats, so which are called the sand hi-hats, 14 inches. And then I've got a 20-inch medium, uh, 20-inch medium Byzance ride, extra dry, which I love to death as well. It's just great, like, stick definition with a great cutting raw sounding bell, which I love to death, and I use that on literally everything. And then I also have a 20-inch dual crash, which is just great. So yeah, that's what symbols I use today. All right, so today uh, you were gracing us with your presence and skills on the Decade Kit, the Pearl Decade. What was your opinion on that? The Decade Kit, man, is like superb. Like, honestly, I'm not, people might say I'm biased because I play Pearl and I love Pearl, but honestly, it's just sweet, man. Like, the tone of the tom's easy to tune. Like literally, we just literally just chucked on G2 coated today. Yep, just a quick shout out Thank to you, uh, Evans. Diodario um, Evans, um, shouted up Pete Moffat today, and um, he was able to hook us up with some, which is amazing. Uh, we actually fitted the G2 coated heads on today. Literally. Literally, <laughs> today. <laughs> and, and tuned them up, and they sounded magnificent. Sweet, as, you, as, as you've heard. Yeah, I mean, it's just easy to, like, honestly, the Decade kit, it's comfortable, it's easy to tune, and for the money and the budget of what you're getting, I recommend it highly. Like, if you want a top level kit, I'd recommend getting that, totally. If any of you are interested in knowing a little bit more about what the decade's about, uh, please feel free to check our earlier um, review on it. Um, it actually, we did that with Evans Heads as well. I think they were done with EC2s, uh, clears. But um, that's, that will give you a bit more insight as to the details that are, you know, uh, available when it comes to the specs of the kit and stuff. But here you sit in action. I mean, it was here. <laughs> I would get one, guys. Like, it's so strong and it's just like the finish is magnificent as well. And it's maple as well, which is great. I love maple. Indeed. Such a warm tone, it booms warm. and it really fits yeah. with the G2s. It does. Because I was I was a bit concerned at first fitting them on, I thought, oh, is this gonna be too thin? But it just it just, oh, it just once it was on there properly, it was yeah. just sweet. So right in front of us we got here a very special snare, the snare that you were playing with for uh the majority of the demos. Yeah, Tell so us a bit more about this. This is my Dennis Chambers signature snare, it's fourteen by six and a half. And I mean, I've used it on pretty much everything. <laughs> I've used it on. And I just love it again. It's just sweet, man. It's just got the body. 
it's got, as you can see, it's got two tensions here. So you can take it down, tune, like you don't have to, obviously, like in some songs, sometimes you need to like, obviously people use big fat snare drums, big up big fat snare drums, because they're magnificent and I've got they're loads amazing. of those. They are amazing. But with this snare, you don't actually need that because you can have like your kind of medium to high tuning on one kind of like tension and then your low tuning on another one. So this is really great. And just to show you, it's thicker wires here. I use 42 strands. So is that your custom set of wires that you put on there? So after I, you I it? yeah, these are pearl wires, by the way, again. Thank you, pearl. So these are 42 strands. Okay, so what have you got underneath there? So underneath I've got a um, Snearside 300 Evans um, Rezo head, which is great. Honestly, it's perfect for the sound of snare that I like, because I don't, I don't tend to use moon gel on my drums. So mm -hmm. on my top head, I need it quite thick. Mm -hmm. So and the, what you got there? the HD Dry is okay. what I've got there. And it's just, I've used it since I've been a kid, and the G2s as well, and I've never, ever felt the need to change. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a very Dennis sound, if I might add. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. The snare sounds as thick as you like on top, but it's got that sensitivity as well. Yeah. And I think totally. that's something that us Dennis heads can uh, can really Relate agree to. with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> there you go. So amazing, amazing set of gear here. Like, it's a, a great array of uh, stuff that you had up. Thank you. And um, it was really nice to hear you, like, do what Man. you're doing. I just want to say, guys, like, Kwesi, thank you for having me, honestly. Like, this is one of my heroes as well, so I'm just throwing it out there. He is one of my heroes, honestly. So <laughs> thank you for having me, bro. I've really enjoyed this. Pleasure, man. Pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure. And thanks for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed this, please hit the like button. I want to see some likes on this, because this was truly special today. And um, let us know what you think. Um, what do you think of Danny's gear? Does it work for you? Is the pearl on this? Is the minor on this? Is the Evans speaking to you? Sly, 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 sly uh, advertising there. But uh, <laughs> from us at Minor, did I know? <laughs> from us at Drum Shack, we say uh, goodbye, and again, we'll see you next week with more shenanigans. Thanks Take for care. Watching, guys.